Hey everyone, it's Miss Darty coming to you live from my backyard in Foxborough. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm out here representing my Davis Thayer Bobcats and my Kennedy Ladybugs, enjoying this nice day. Um, and some of you might be playing some sports outside, doing some exercising. Maybe some of you are doing some reading outside. I was doing that earlier too. Um, today's also a great day to do some drawing outside. So I wanted to give you a couple activities that you could do outside today. Gather whatever art materials that you have, find a space that you are allowed to create, um, and let's get started. So the other day um, we made some sketchbooks on my YouTube channel, um, and inside the sketchbooks you have a bunch of blank white pages. Maybe you've already started to draw in there. I decorated my cover a little bit more um, with just some pictures of some art supplies, and I also labeled my sketchbook and I wrote Spring 2020, because remember in the video before I told you it might be kind of nice for you to have all of your artwork in one place from this kind of special time that you're having at home. So I thought that would be kind of special for you. Okay, so my ideas for you today to get outside and draw is a drawing challenge, okay? So in my sketchbook, okay, I've labeled my outdoor drawing challenge. You could draw all four of your pictures on one page like I did. Um, you could also turn your sketchbook horizontal to make it a little bit easier to draw inside or you could do each drawing on its own page since you have lots of pages um, that you can go through. Okay, um, the first thing I'm going to challenge you to find, okay, number one says draw a tree in your yard. Hmm. It looks like I have a lot of beautiful trees to choose from. If you can't see any directly in your yard, I bet you could find some really close by. You can even do this activity um, looking out a window. For my first grade friends and up, um, I taught you guys how to draw trees starting with a Y. I think that could be helpful as you start to draw some trees in your yard. Um, but what's challenging is to try to draw, this, draw the trees that you see, okay, and to observe um, what the branches specifically look like like on that tree. So that's why that is a challenge. Find a specific tree to draw. Maybe it's a really special tree to you. Maybe it's one that you like to climb. Maybe it's one that grows something that you like to pick. Um, maybe you can imagine what it would be like to have a tree house in that tree. So perhaps after you're done drawing a tree in your yard, maybe you could make it into something really cool like a habitat for animals or a magical tree house or something like that. The second challenge that I have for you is to draw a house or a structure that you see. Hmm, that shouldn't be too hard to find. I see one right in front of me. You can draw your house, you can draw a shed. Um, like I said, if you have a tree house, you could draw your neighbor's house, a house or a structure that you see. When you do that, I also want you to practice really close looking like artists do. Um, practice trying to draw what you see. How many windows does that house have? Where are the windows located? Okay. Um, if you're starting to get into adding some color to these drawings in your sketchbook, you can even observe the colors that you see. The third challenge says to find an object in your yard to draw. That can be any object. Here I have a picture of a soccer ball and a plant, okay? Some object that you can maybe pick up and put right in front of you so that you can also draw what you see and observe really closely those details. The last one I thought would be kind of cool. It's a creative challenge for you. It says to create a map of your yard. So I want you to pretend like you're a bird or an airplane flying over your yard, okay? Try to get a bird's eye view or an aerial view of your yard um, and try to see if you can map out what your yard looks like. Maybe you can even make it into a treasure map um, and you can do a little X marks the spot and you can find a treasure. Or you can send somebody on a treasure hunt. That would be pretty cool too. Um, finally, there's a bonus. It says to draw an animal, maybe an animal that you usually see in your yard, like squirrels or bunnies. I have a lot of those. Maybe it can be a pet. My dog Oliver is somewhere around my big yard. Um, but that would be a challenge, of course, because animals don't st sit still very long, right? Unless they're sleeping. Um, so you probably can't draw that from what you see, but you can draw that from your memory um, or your imagination, of course, okay? So as always, um, whatever awesome artwork that you make at home, I 
love for you to send it to me. You can email it to me or send it to me via Twitter. Um, and I cannot wait to see what you artists create outside today on this beautiful day. Enjoy the weather um, and keep on smiling and keep on creating. See you soon.